Penn Consumer Investigation reveals how the government is not testing organic produce the way it should. The families pay more for that organic produce and expect it to be pesticide free. And Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance is on the case. Yeah, Congress made it a law decades ago. There had to be testing of certified organic produce, but they haven't been doing it. Not in this country or on produce imported from any other country. So we did some testing of our own. Organics have grown into a multi-billion dollar industry. I feel like it's a better health option. Even with no studies proving organics are healthier, shoppers are willing to pay more. By definition, Organic does not mean chemical free. Will Sumner has been a chemist for more than 35 years. He tests produce for the government. That doesn't mean that they're not toxic. So is the more expensive organic food safer than conventionally grown? Congress put into law the Organic Foods Production Act in 1990. It requires the Department of Agriculture to test organic produce and oversee third party certifiers all over the world. But for 22 years now, that mandated testing hasn't happened. The inspector general did this audit in 2010 and found out his agency had never set up any testing procedures as required by law. So Team 10 joined up with 10 of our sister stations across the country. We went to various stores and focused on imported organic produce. We bought a wide variety, each station buying different things. In San Diego, we bought bell peppers, limes, and ginger. Each sample from across the country was then shipped overnight to Sumner's certified lab here in California. The lab tested 33 different types of imported organic produce for us. Overall, 12% had pesticide residues. 10% had trace amounts. All but one within government standards. So where did those chemicals come from? Sumner says some farmers use chemicals when they're not supposed to and commit outright fraud. But more often the problem is cross-contamination. There's a lot of different compounds out there and these are all drifting in different directions. Organic produce that tested positive for residues came from Mexico. The mini pumpkins, yellow squash and tomatoes had small amounts of pesticides. All three would be allowed for sale by the USDA. The fresh basil that was bought had metalaxyl, which some nurse says was not legal to use on organics and the FDA would make all retailers pull that product from the shelves. It's actually really uh, surprising to me. The good news here is that all of the produce from San Diego tested negative for pesticides. So the produce from Trader Joe's, Ralph's and Vaughn's, it was all fine within government standards. Vaughn's said that was great news. Ralph's said they didn't want to comment. Trader Joe's didn't call me back. So the positive results came from other cities where Scripps has TV stations. And I also want to mention the USDA testing. It will begin this year. It's supposed to begin this year, but it hasn't started yet. And in, in all of your uh, lab testing, what did you find is the best way for us to try to make sure what we're eating is safe? It's pretty simple. So just washing your produce can get rid of up to 50% of pesticides. So that's really just most people do that anyway. Right. So I think that's, you know, you're, you're safe. You're safe doing that. Can help get rid of the trace elements still left too that Absolutely. they found in the study. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Chris.